Hello everyone, Danny here today. As you can see, looking behind me, I am at a dairy farm. I'm waiting for them to finish milking the cows into this tank here. Then I can go ahead and load it onto my set of doubles and deliver it to where it is going. That is what I do for a living. I told you I'm a truck driver. I deliver raw milk. Woohoo! I want to talk to you about what is far and above the best history book I have ever listened to. The book was recommended to me by my mom and my dad. They were over for dinner. Dad and I were talking about books, which dad and I talk about books a lot. And he mentioned that mom was reading and really enjoying this book. I checked it out on Audible. It was there. I got it. I'm so happy. Thank you, mom and dad. Excellent, excellent recommendation. I'm talking about the book, Killing England. The Brutal Struggle for American Independence. Now, this book is not a work of historical fiction. It is a non-fiction history book. That being said, it's told in story format. So, it reads, or in this case, listens, and I'm very happy with the narrator. The narrator did an excellent job. It listens like a book of historical fiction it is however non-fiction and there are there are components in the book to where they're describing something and they're going into such detail that you're thinking okay i, I think you might be pushing the limits here you know as an example they, they describe a general getting captured and they describe what he's wearing all the way down to how dirty his collar is you really knew what the guy was wearing well yeah turns out letters were discovered that described what the guy was working so they're not making anything up when there are parts in the book where they're not sure hey this is supposition on our part and there is opposing supposition they explain that and they explain why they believe their their belief they they believe their side versus the opposing side of what really happened out I got to come up with a better way to. I, I have terrible grammar. My wife has is, is pointed that out to me, and I'm constantly working on getting better with my grammar. That's an example of that. that there should have been a better way for me to word that than that. But there you have it. As you listen to the book, the the conditions are brought to life, and the the, the horrors of the war, the the, the brutality. It, it comes to life. I, I had no clue what the women went through. It, it's it's horrifying and, and horrific. That the, the hatred between you know the the, the Americans and, and the British it, it was phenomenal to think that now Great Britain is one of our greatest allies. That that we've gone from that beginning to, to where we are now with that, the great country of Great Britain, it, it's truly, truly amazing. The, the authors do not glorify our founding fathers. They do not hide our founding fathers' bad points and only bring out their good points. They address the good and they address the bad. They address the contradictions in them. The fact that the person who authored the Declaration of Independence had put a section in the Declaration of Independence that put down slavery and spoke against slavery, and yet he personally owned slaves. It's estimated that he bought and sold over a hundred human beings in his lifetimes. That kind of a contradiction there, just they, they don't hide that, they don't gloss over it, they, they bring it out. And then they even try to explain, hey, when he put that into the Declaration of Independence, we don't believe that he put that into the Declaration of Independence because that's how he truly felt. How could you truly feel that way and buy and sell over a hundred different you know, men, women, and children? He put that in there as a way to condemn the King of England. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing they do is they travel to both sides. You'll go to Britain. You'll get to sit in on British Parliament. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Dry throat. You'll get to see the British side of it. You'll, you'll get to see, you know, Benjamin Franklin 
going to France. You, you, you get the entire huge picture. One of the, the favorite parts of the book for me was learning what truly happened with Benedict Arnold. Okay, I, every person who's grown up in an American school knows that Benedict Arnold is one of our greatest traders, right? Yeah. How many of you who have not read or listened to this book, how many of you can actually tell me what Benedict Arnold tried to do? How many of you can actually tell me what made Benedict Arnold the hated figure that he became? Listen to the book. You will find that out. You'll find out not just what he did, but what led to it, how he went from being one of our greatest generals to one of our greatest traitors. How even though we truly, you know, despise and belittle the name of Benedict Arnold in a very real way, we may owe our independence to Benedict Arnold because until he turned traitor, he was one of our greatest generals. He, he won some major battles for us and, and helped us earn our independence. What happened there? How did he swap sides like that? Listen to the book. You will find that out if you like my channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you like the video, hit the like button. I'm going to review it, and there's a lot of background noise. It, the tank's got agitators in it that are running. You've got cooling systems, all kinds of stuff. So if the background noise is too bad, I'll turn it off. But, you know, if I think the background work, I, I think this might be kind of an interesting place to do a video. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, send them. Let me know if I do end up posting this. Let me know if the background was too distracting or if you liked the, the, the change in scenery and I should keep trying to come up with new places like this to do my videos. But most importantly, no matter what else you do today, make sure that today you listen to at least one really good book and yes, I absolutely recommend Killing England, The Brutal Struggle for American Independence. Thank you.